Hi, this is Farhan and welcome back to another video. Well, we were waiting for these important issues, these important decisions from the judge and today we have them. The judge has granted three verdicts in this ongoing discovery dispute between Ripple and the SEC. And out of these three things, I'm pretty sure the most important one that a lot of XRP investors out there are looking for is the extension of this discovery process. SSE put forward saying that, hey, they need extra 60 days, extra two months for this discovery process. But Ripple was like, hey, you couldn't find anything in the last year or so. What more are you going to find in the next 60 days? But unfortunately for Ripple, well, the judge has sided with the SEC in this case. And that is why the extension for 60 days has been granted. But obviously, it was not a complete victory for the SEC as the judge also gave a victory in favor of Ripple. And that is to do with the international discovery that Ripple was looking for. So th this uh, this process is heating up. And in today's video, we will be looking and talking in detail about what this means for XRP and its future. But before doing all of that, let's take a look at the price of XRP today. The world of crypto did see some profit taking as we saw some minor decreases in the prices of a lot of crypto. But the good thing is that the price of Bitcoin is still about that $40,000. Uh, and for XRP, well, at the time making this video, XRP is trading at around $0.86, a decrease of 2% compared to yesterday and an increase of 5% compared to one week ago. Yesterday, we saw the prices of a lot of cryptos out there, including XRP, increase by more than 10% on the back of news uh, coming from Elon Musk. Now, if you're talking about XRP today, we saw the high point at uh, around $0.92, but since then it has slightly decreased and the low point at around $0.86, which is around right now. And if you're talking about uh, the summary here, for the daily chart, the summary stands at a strong sell, moving averages at a sell, technical indicators at a strong sell, and the most important RSI is at a sell position. Yesterday, we saw that the summary change to a neutral uh, position from a strong sell, which it had been for many, many uh, days, in fact, for more than about uh, two weeks now. But again, it has shifted back to a strong sell. Now, if you're talking about the weekly position, the summary here is at a neutral point and the RSI is also at a neutral point. And for the monthly position, the summary is at a strong buy, moving averages to buy technical indicators at a strong buy and the RSI is at a neutral point. So the summary has been for the monthly position at a strong buy for many months now. And we are expecting that if the price of Bitcoin is able to uh, increase further, we will see a major uh, correction with XRP, uh, positive correction for XRP. But right now we are waiting for the entire world of crypto, how it is going to react in the coming weeks. Now let's move on to the most important news and that is the judge has uh, granted uh, this verdict in favor of the SEC regarding the extension of this discovery process. Well, if you guys have been following this lawsuit, you should know that the discovery process was supposed to end on 2nd July and a lot of people were expecting to see something major by then. But unfortunately, SEC simply asked the judge, hey, we need more time. We need 60 more days to do additional discovery. And this is even after Ripple sending more than 120,000 documents to uh, SEC and SEC has been investigating Ripple for more than a year now so even after that they're still not finding anything and yet they ask for more deadline and i think in my opinion this is basically a stalling tactic SEC uh, proposed the new scheduling order as the SEC respectfully requested the court's discovery deadlines be extended by 60 days with the period for fact discovery ending on august 31st 2021 and the period for expert discovery ending on october 15 2021 and the judge did that exactly order granting 217 letter motion for extension of time to complete discovery the deadline to conduct fact, uh, discoveries extended to august 31st 2021 the deadline to conduct expert discovery extended to october 15th well this is i'm pretty sure it's not going to make a lot of people happy out there but there are some positive things with this and that means we might actually head uh, to a uh, summary verdict here and that point that would mean that Ripple would, ha would have an outright victory against the SEC and that is not just beneficial to Ripple and XRP but is also beneficial to the entire world of crypto out there. Now, not only that, we also need to talk about uh, what Ripple has been uh, requesting uh, from the judge. They are saying that, hey, we need to get this international discovery, ask these international foreign crypto exchanges, about 15 foreign crypto exchanges, and get uh, documents related to the transactions on to show base, to show SEC basically, hey, the majority of these transactions actually happen outside of the United States and outside the jurisdiction of the SEC. And those letters are very important to Ripple. Uh, this discovery is very important 
important to Ripple and they asked the judge for that and today we got to know that judge has granted this as well they put uh, order granting 213 letter motion for discovery the court will issue the individual defendants a letter rogatory the court will conduct the parties directly directly with information about how to retrieve the signed and sealed letters and also uh, order granting 240 letter motion for discovery made straight by a judge uh, so this is definitely good news for ripple but again i'm pretty sure a lot of uh, ripple and xrp investors they would have wanted this basic this lawsuit to end as soon as possible and when i look at the comment section on my youtube in the comment section i see a lot of people they're like hey when exactly is this going to end and unfortunately it has been further extended now having said all of this i do want to talk about one very very important thing and that is that in my opinion i think sec is basically using this as a stalling tactic against ripple they want to get the upper hand against ripple when it comes to the settlement and i feel that the the chance of settlement it has actually increased much higher after this extension because they want to get more information and try to get this upper hand when it comes to the settlement criteria the settlement conditions and those are going to be very important for ripple and obviously ripple is going to pay this major fine and from what in my opinion what might happen and i will definitely make a, a different video talking in much more detail about that but a basic summary is that I think the SEC is going to make Ripple pay a larger fine on this. And I think that would be, in my opinion, pretty good for uh, XRP investors, not that good for Ripple, the company. Moving further, there's also one other very important update, and that is related to the these uh, documents, these internal trading policies at the SEC. And Ripple has been asking this for about uh, two months now, and the SEC is refusing to do so. And today they sent out a letter to the judge saying that, hey, we need those documents from the SEC. Can you please help us out? They put it, the SEC says that the documents are irrelevant to the issues before the court. That is incorrect. The SEC's own trading policies are likely to show, for example, that the SEC did not consider XRP and other digital assets like XRP to be securities or that the SEC considered XRP to be substantially similar to other digital assets like Bitcoin that it has expressly stated are not securities. That is relevant circumstantial evidence of what an objective purchaser would have understood about the regulatory status of these those digital goods again now ripple uh, sec was refusing to hand over these documents and the judge has already said in the past that hey sec give these documents to ripple but it is kind of delaying this process but now since we already have an extension of this discovery process and i'm pretty sure now we are going to get these details from the sec so another minor victory towards ripple well guys that was the video for today let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section below are you guys surprised or not surprised to see this extension of discovery process so do drop a comment below for those of you who are new to my channel consider subscribing giving this video a like so the youtube algorithm will recommend you my videos in the future and as always thank you for watching this and i will see you next time